Hello there and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to paint a chair. I recently found this gorgeous chair at the thrift store with caned sides and totally fell in love with it, but it could use a little update. The upholstery is still in pretty good shape and I like the color so we're going to keep that, but with the help of some primer and paint, we'll give this chair a quick DIY makeover and then I'll share with you how I styled it in my home. The first thing I did was remove the seat section of the chair. It was just held in with a couple of screws and then I went in with some painter's tape and I covered the edges of all of the upholstered areas that was still connected to the chair. With that done, it was time for primer. I'm using Bullseye 123 Primer, which is for all surfaces, and I started painting the caning first. It did take me long before I realized I had a little bit of a problem. You can see here that the paint is splattering, like way further than I expected it to, even onto my floor, like a couple feet out. Even though I was using a light hand and wasn't like aggressively painting, it was still splattering further than I expected. So I covered all of the upholstery sections with paper and I put down a drop cloth on the floor and then I got back to work. Because the stain color on this chair is so dark, I gave the chair two light coats of primer. Taking the time to apply that second coat of primer makes adding the paint color so much easier. I'm going to be using up some old paint that I have. As you can see, that it's looking a little rough, but the paint is still really good. It's a very pale grayish blue color, and I think it will look gorgeous on this chair. So here's a few tips on painting cane webbing. You're going to want a small paintbrush with short bristles that are flexible. These two inch chip brushes are very inexpensive and perfect for this project. The next tip is to use a small amount of paint at one time and you're going to work in like a circular motion in a small area. Really working the paint into one little section and then moving to the next. What I like to do is work on like a four or five inch section one inch at a time, really working the paint into the caning, really making sure that you're using the paintbrush from all the different angles, from the top, from the bottom, from the sides. That is what's gonna get into all those little nooks and crannies of the caning. Once you have a section painted, you're gonna to wanna to pause and go to the opposite side or back side of the caning, and you may see that the paint is starting to pool or drip on that side. Just take your paintbrush and lightly wipe over that section in all directions and that will evenly disperse that paint that has come through to the back side. Once the caning section had been painted, the chip brush works perfectly for painting the rest of the wood on the chair as well. It's nice and small, you can get into those little crevices and corners. I gave the chair two thin layers of paint, making sure that my first layer had time to dry for four or five hours before adding the next layer. Once I had all the painting done, I wanted to work on the upholstery part of the chair. The first thing I did was give it a good vacuuming. I went over the whole thing two different times, making sure that I was getting into all the crevices and folds of the fabric. Sections of the upholstery was sort of fuzzy or pilly, so I decided to get myself a lint shaver this one is from Walmart, it was like $10. I'll link something similar down below in the description box. And I was hoping that this would help revive the fabric. And it did seem to do the trick, however, it's a very slow process. You need to go very slow and you need to go at it at different angles. And it took me about a half hour just to do the seat cover. But as you can see, it did make a big difference. And just in case you're wondering, here's the lint ball <laughs> from the seat section. The next thing I did to freshen up the upholstery on the chair is to spray it down with some Lysol. I just follow the instructions on the label. They give you different tips for different surfaces. And I've done this with just about anything that I can't hand wash or put in the washing machine. And I've never had any problems. I also went ahead and sprayed the back section of the chair as well. To finish off the chair, I popped the seat section back into place. And finally, for good measure, I set the whole thing out on the deck for a couple hours to let the sun and the wind deodorize and sanitize. And here 
is the finished product. I decided to use it in the corner of my bedroom and I think it turned out so good. I have to say I did consider distressing it just a little bit because I like to see a little bit of that dark stain show through the white but I refrained this time to try something new and we'll see how it goes. I may decide to go back in and distress a little bit later on but for now I am loving how it turned out. I think it looks so good and I am just so pleased with it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I would love to know what you think down in the comments. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye now.